straightforward, although the number of slides are a lot, seems like a lot. Okay, so I will only say something straightforward and uh, let me tell you some old story uh, that I that I encountered during the days that you know I I, I started using the internet since 1994. Okay, so what, what happened since then? And uh, I, I will tell you some of my experience. Okay, so uh, last time we talked about HTTP authentication, easy to write, easy to set up. You can even use uh, HTTP authentication to identify users. Okay, which you may not know about it. Okay, and oh, by, by, by the way, if you want to differentiate users from users, that means that the program itself needs to read the environment variable called remote user. Okay, now I will contrast how how good or bad it is. Right, you will see that it's easy. Right, everything is there. You, your job is to write the contents, not writing uh, writing any codes about the locking mechanism. Okay, so which is easy. Password management is also easy because it's just a, I consider it as a plain text file. Although inside a plain text file is encrypted, everything encrypted and a, and a hush, okay? So this is easy. The section management is easy, but no varieties. So what is the meaning of no varieties? Can you expire a sections using HTTP application? No, you can expire it, okay? Server lost the total control. Okay, because the control is on the browser side. Okay, now now this is an emerging trend that all also give the control on the client side is the HTML5 uh, local storage as well as the session storage. Okay, but but this is not about it. Okay, there's only a, a token that you generated by the browser, and you cannot force the browser not to use the token. Okay, so this is. The, the meaning of no variety, uh, some other people may ask for, hey, can I uh, have a password retention? Okay, uh, or in the reverse, we book the password. Okay, let's say, the, I don't know, uh, you have a system that I pretend to be very secure. Okay, then how can I say that mm, you have reduced this uh, for one month already, you have to change it. Okay, uh, in HDF modification, you cannot do it. Uh, logging cannot do it as well. I flip through the entire documentation, nothing about logging is mentioned. So that means what? That means you cannot trace the user, whether the user has logged in or not, whether the, whether the user has uh, leave the site or not, okay? And we cannot generate such a, such kind of a detailed report like me have done uh, in tracking you guys. Okay, I promise you guys I'll remove the tracking today, okay? If I remember it. Okay, so uh, that's why uh, I I will have another approach, which is a normal approach, which you see a lot, okay? Uh, some people not uh, using CGI, but are using other things like the PHP, okay? And it's just a more s considered to be more secure in the sense that you can control the algorithm or the way that you do the encryption and encoding. And you can uh, implement any real kind of, uh, no matter what kind, whatever real or normal is up to you, the password management, as well as the session management, like uh, you want to expire uh, in section or using uh, what we call a best practice uh, implementation of login log in sections, so and so forth. Okay, so uh, I have several versions that uh, since, since the time I, I'm in the internet, I look through the entire History, I, I find that the variation is like this. The first version is what is that? It is the simplest one. You upload the password. Okay, uh, people ask you for a password. You type it in. Okay, and then you send a plain text password over the network. CGI program receive it, process it. What is the meaning of process? String comparison. Okay, on a on a plain text. <coughs> Uh, password database. Do you believe that it even exists? Do you believe? Let me show you something. Huh? Okay, so this is a screen capture. Don't care about uh, who are those guys. Okay, I should be putting in here. Okay. I do a screen capture. Yeah, if uh, how many of you don't know it? Can, 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 don't Chinese here? Yeah. So do you know who is the Billy Okay. Uh, one of our alumni. Okay, one of our alumni. Okay. Says that uh <laughs> 
Oh, shh. Yeah, do, do, do you say this one is a problem? Can you say this one is a problem? Some, someone laugh, okay? Yeah, and you know this is our government yeah, production, okay? Yeah, you know our government sucks, okay? They don't know IT, so that's why they, they need a, they need a, a, a how do I describe it? A, a body to govern IT, and those guys don't know IT as well, okay? Yeah, it's the same as simple as, as uh, that's why I I say which sites, okay? Fortunately, I never use this service. Yeah. Okay. So like, well, what is the problem? The problem is if if you encounter something like this, that means what? That means in the server side, they stop bring text password. Do you ever heard of uh, the the incident uh, that uh, Sony PlayStation Network in more than? several years ago. How many of you have PlayStation 3 at that time? If you haven't, you, you will remember what there is one time. Uh, PlayStation Network being hacked. And not hacking the network, but hacking Sony. Okay? And Sony being discovered they store plain test password. Okay? And this is not, not any anything interesting. The more interesting thing is the plain test password associate with something else, like your name and the private company. Wow, cool. Huh? I don't know. I don't know whether whether it means uh, the credit card number can associate with other kind of password. I I don't know what is the implication, but uh, very horrible. Very unfortunately, I don't have a PlayStation. Okay. Then people think of ah, oh, how about this? Okay. Uh, this is a lazy guy solution. Okay, what's a lazy guy solution? Yeah, let's have a self sign self self sign certificate. Okay self size certificate on the Apache side and ask Apache to do the encryption over the network. It seems that they solved the problem. Sorry, no. Okay? The problem only be lesson, okay, a bit that people cannot steal the things on the wire, okay, yet the server is still the still still have a problem. Okay, so in this assignment, assignment one, you don't need to do a login, good, okay? But uh, you, s you need to maintain section. Later on, I will tell you about how to do it. Uh, then uh, people know that this is not the way, okay? So uh, around, what, when? Uh, this, this implementation is not uh, popular. Af I mean, uh, after the year 2000, it's getting more and more popular, okay? People try to hush the password, okay? Hush the password. Now, what does it mean a hash password? Go through MD5 over MD1 and store the hash value. Now, you're sending pain tests under HTTPS protection. When they arrive to a C chat code where CHI code will hash it and compare the hash version on the password database. Everything seems cool except one thing. What is the thing? Let's say that my, my password is a TY1, okay? And TY1 under the hash function MD5. Okay, whether it is uniquely determined in server A and server B, to, I mean, uh, uh, let me phrase it. Okay, in server A, I can be TY1 go for MD5, and server B, I can be TY1 go for MD5. Choose check sum, are they the same? Do you know that? Yes, they are the same. Yeah, so are you protecting yourself? No. No. So I mean, not, not you protecting yourself, whether the one who write the server protecting you, they not, okay? So there is an other way, an other way which is very, uh, I would say that not everyone will mention it, but at least it is a good way to protect it. I use a, yeah, the, the menu of PHP, easy to be a, to be a search, right? So that's why I, I search it. Yeah. What happened? PHP sucks. Okay. Sort. Eh? It's not the. Ah, what is sort? What? How do I store my sort? Okay, so what is a sort? Okay, it means that the, the hash functions allow you to have a parameter to customize the output. Okay, so let's say you are company A, you use a sort 1, 2, 3. And that one, two, three, only known by your your company only, okay? Then, even though the the I mean uh, the hacker steal the hash password database, they don't know the sort. 
Okay, so that means a sort is a kind of a master password. But uh, you know, as a clever programmer, never write the sort into the program code. Okay, do you know why? If I'm a hacker, can I also look at the code? Yes, of course. Yeah, so that means I get, I mean, like, don't put the key together with the, with the door, okay? You, you never put the key in, in front of the door, right? Okay, so uh, that's why the, this, this passage, this article also tell you where to state the sort, okay? So uh, continue with uh, uh, yesterday uh, question. Yesterday I asked for use Evernote, and Evernote say that, oh, they have uh, been, uh, been hacked by hackers, and the hash password is deleted. And they, they do it very low profile, only tell the user to change the password. And why they're so confident? Of course, one, one thing is about the hash. Now you, you know that the hash is not safe. Because every machine is going to the same hash algorithm will get a unique. Unique keys, that means that I can easily guess your password. So uh, why, it, why uh, Evernote is, is so confident? Because they have also using the sort. Okay, the sort together with the hash functions. Okay? So this is a quite, uh, I mean, a quite important, but very few people will mention that, okay? So remember this, uh, if you really want to implement something important and you are not very sure that whether you will be hacked or not, okay? Uh, I mean, I tell you the truth, being hacked is very normal, okay? I'm being hacked several times. I mean, I, I, I put a server on, the, on my dormitory, okay? And uh, yeah, you, you, you know what happened. Okay, then I, when, when, one day IDSC sent me an email that I want, want to uh, stop a service and I said why? Because my machine is being hacked and being used as a zombie server to do attack. Okay, yeah, I would right. This is uh, very normal. Okay, so the last version. So what is the last version? Last version rely on something else. So what is that? Some people think that yeah, inside the, the HTTP protection is already good enough. But some people don't think about, don't think so, okay? Because uh, HTTPS, we have a very famous attack called HTTPS main and middle attack, okay? So some people still think that, ah, oh, it's very, very uh, dangerous, okay? So what are the solutions proposed by some other people, okay? I found this in, uh, what is that? Weibo? It should be Weibo. It should be, right? Um, Okay. Uh, what is the what, what is the solution? Okay, the solution is like this: when you try to log in, okay, and while you are logging in, you type enter. Suddenly, you will find that your password field change. If you if you have experience logging in Weibo, you you will know this. Oh, yeah. I or oh right? Ah, oh, stay sucks. Okay. So uh, let me show you one of uh, suck suckers inventions. Yeah, you know, government sites. Okay, so this is one of the, s what? Yeah, I'm more gonna laugh, Saba. Gum dog. So it's even the poor grandma. Who's it? I got to leave my girl in here. Let's <笑> Yeah. So let me let me uh, input something else, okay? So sad. Okay, and then press go. Take a look at the password field. Okay, I zoom in. Take a look at the password field. Do you know what happened? If if you have if you have logged in Weibo, it it should be Weibo. Or QQ, I can't remember which I I sell I sell them users, so I usually mix them up. Okay. Do you know what what is going on? Do you know what's going on? They apply hash. They apply hash on the client side. Okay? But uh, one, one of the problems is that I don't know why HTML5 standards don't even include this. Okay? 
hash is supposed to be what we call cryptographic library functions, okay? So really, really important, right? And the current state of the art is we depend on the library for five by seven. You have to download the file into your, your system, into your web page, in order to drive the hash function. Okay? Some people argue this is extremely dangerous. Why? You are downloading some, some libraries, okay? Does the library trustworthy? You don't know. Okay? You never know whether it's trustworthy or not, okay? And also some stupid guy implement things like this. Okay? What they are doing, okay? They are very, I mean, uh, internal JavaScript, okay? They first uh, use GQE, I don't know GQE, or within the JavaScript, first uh, look into the password field, and then directly manipulate the value of their password and make it into a hash, and that's why it's been something longer, okay? And they think that it's uh, even more safer, but I don't believe it, okay? As, uh, unless, okay, this is uh, the hash or the adapter function is natively provided by the operating system for the browser. Okay. Now, the state of the art approach is downloading from Stanford. Okay. So uh, I believe in this, but this is even more harder uh, to implement. Uh, I see some of the uh, around which year, around in a period of uh, 2002 to 2005, there is a very uh, hot development of Java. Okay. And some people like the banking, okay, they trust God, I don't know why, suckers love sub sucks language. Okay? Yeah, really sucks, okay? Uh, I have I found a core core uh, article to describe how bad Java is, okay? I love that. Okay? But also you can find that people will praise Java like God, okay? So yeah, I, I choose the haters hate the size. Okay? So what is the version five? So version five is a, a very uh, famous uh, approach in implementing secure uh, login mechanism. The secure login mechanism, the theme, the rule of thumb is not to allow password to fly around in the network, no matter what is the format. Whether it's hush, whether it's encrypt, whether it's digest or encoding, I don't allow it. Don't fly over it. So what's, what should be the way? There will be a lot of everyone doing this. Okay, and you can search the name in the Wikipedia, and I also was told you the name is called. Yeah, what challenge is that? Yeah, no, not challenge is that. Okay, challenge, response. Yeah, challenge response, authentication. Okay, not challenge is that. Okay. Yeah, how many of you have heard of it? Only, only you, okay? Others don't know. Okay, so how to implement it? Very easy, yeah? You two, the uh, higher side and the uh, server side, agree on one encryption algorithm first. It should be encryption because I, I need to do the reversion. Don't do the reverse, okay? And you agree on the encryption algorithm, then the server know your password. Whether it's hash or a test, I don't know. Okay, because hopefully it works, okay? Now, what's next? I first tell the server that, hey, I'm TY1. I'm TY1, okay? I want to lock it. Then the server do one thing. What is that? The server will use your password. Password or, or the plain test version is up to you. Use it as an encryption key to encrypt a random string. That string is random. And it's remembered by the server, by the CGI program or by the PHP. I don't know what is the language you're using, okay? But it's this being remembered. The random string, as well as your hash password or fingerless password, it's up to you. Now, I don't send the password out, but I send the encrypted guy. So, send this guy out. Okay. Send this guy out. Now, what's next? Next is, on the client side, on the client side, because it depends on whether you have a password or not. If you don't have a password, okay, then you cannot, cannot decrypt that random string. Or other decryption is become a garbage. Okay? So let's say you, you have an uh, input something and decrypt it. Okay? Suppose that I, I after decryption I have an X number. Okay? So then what's the next is the client and server has to agree on a function. Let's say the function is plus one. Okay, let's say they, they both agree on the function is plus one. 
So x plus 1 and then y, I encrypt y using the password that built in by the user. So the same password is used for decryption and encryption. OK, so what's next? Last job is easy, huh? Last job is I send the encrypted Y to the server. The server will use your pain test password or hash password. Now is, um, uh, I mean, uh, it depends on this side. Okay? This side say that I use hash, then this side should be using the hash. Then the decrypted and compare whether the decrypted form is H plus 1 or not. If yes, log is successful. If not, not it unsuccessful. So how secure it is? Can you see any password flying around? No, no password flying around. Can you break the protocol? Or, or under which condition you can break the protocol? Random strain. How far is it not random? It's always saying you want. Then it's breakable. Right? You can uh, guess. Yeah, oh, this time I receive something, okay? So it's straightforward. So if the random function is trustworthy, so that uh, you cannot predict the next random number, then any other problem? Many of you don't know where. No way. No way. No way, because the man in the middle, the man in the middle, don't know your password. You never send any password. You only send a group string. So the man in the middle guy can only receive on a, from the server to you a group string, which you cannot decrypt. Okay. So this is the most trustworthy login mechanism. Okay, and which is a widely deployed during the time from 2002 to 2005, okay? Why? Okay, because uh, at that time, many people trust one thing. That thing is called Java Android. You never see this nowadays, right? Because it's already died, okay? No one uses it, okay? And people deploy Java Android on the, on the client side, okay? And the client side, well, do, do computation, right? And push your nail thumb, and blah, 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 and then you can perform the login successfully. Okay, and actually nowadays uh, I, I read some articles, some people even invent a uh, login token based on this mechanism. Okay, but I don't know how, I don't know how. I, 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 some, some of it is proprietary, I don't know. Okay, S open source version usually, uh, usually tell you that they will have a set of uh, different functions except uh, this is too, too easy, right? They, they don't like it, okay? Maybe they, they make it into, uh, I don't know, uh, square root or other kind of functions or not even a uh, random number but uh, random strings plus uh, the time okay there is an expiration if you don't lock in for say 30 seconds it will expire something like that okay so just some little variation the core of it is to agree on uh, encryption algorithm agree on the same password of course both sides need to provide the correct password and agree on the function okay so this two are the most uh, a uh, value, uh, I mean, a uh, hi uh, highly appreciated approach, okay? Uh, but this uh, depends on the, the browser, okay? If it's not a browser, it's a, a C program, that's good, okay? You can uh, use the system system library, okay, to do the encryption, to do the hashing, okay? But on this side, it's a client, it's a browser, then there are limitations, okay? The challenge is still so depends on the JavaScript library you download, okay? So any question about this? Any questions? Or, or you are proud of it? No questions? Good. Okay. And here is easy, right? Uh, the storage on a server side is easy. You just uh, uh, push it, okay, with salt, of course. Okay? Uh, there's uh, some best practice in uh, storing the salt, okay? Uh, you better you better read it by yourself, but it's not, not put in the examination or not, but just tell you that. Uh, most of the company is not uh, doing the simple hash, okay? And, uh, of course, they are not, oh, no simple hash, they are like two, two hash together or three hash together, no, okay? They will try to guarantee that uh, my hash value in my company should be different from the hash value generated by another company so that if I lost my thing, okay, no one can guess what I'm doing with the, with the sort already, okay? 
Then about the section, this this part I can go faster. Okay, because there's some some pain facts. Okay, so where's the time? Good. Okay, so some pain facts about uh about a system. Okay, so in uh, assignment one, you are, you are doing something like this. What is that? Uh, you have seen Jimmy's work, right? Did Jimmy share the URL of his work to you? Yeah. Yeah, I will ask him to delete this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, look at the mouse, okay? The mouse is good, okay? Yeah. So uh, this is his work, okay? Can you look at the hyperlink? What is hyperlink? Okay, it's a CGI. Okay, it's not index.html, but, but a CGI program. So in this case, what is the meaning? The meaning is I will generate a dynamic content, okay? So this table is a dynamic content, right? So basically, uh, the, the easiest way to implement it, okay, uh, in assignment one, we don't have this part, okay, we can uh, cut this out, okay, but the, the idea is like this, your index page is no longer something that you can write HTML on it, okay, you can just write plain HTML and everything is static. Now you, you need the power uh, of uh, Python, uh, uh, assignment is Python, Okay, in order to generate some uh, statistic, uh, no, I mean to say, dynamic things, okay? So uh, I have a written a, a system to demonstrate it. Where is it? So the, the system is easy to understand, but, uh, but I don't have time to change the language, okay? The old language is, uh, I, I, use I use a Perl to write it, okay? I just highlight something. Uh, Usually, uh, we will save a, uh, uh, not usually, okay? I mean, uh, for most of the time, okay, you will save your password database in a real database, right? I usually uh, do it in a reverse way, okay? I love to save something in pancakes, okay? So that I can modify it manually, okay? So uh, this is the hash value of so set, okay? Don't believe it. So, echo. Echo minus n means no enter, so set. Eh? Sorry. <laughs> so sad. Eh? What happened? Type MD5. Eh? No. Is it there's an enter? Oh, there's an enter. Okay. So you can see this. So although uh, the hash value I generated on uh, OpenShift, okay, uh, in my Mac, I can generate the exact same phrase. Okay, I usually love to do this uh, the in name and then colon and then the hash value. Okay. And save the hash value if you'd like to have a sort. Okay. Search for, uh, no, search for sort. Okay. No, no sort? What? There's no way to generate a sorted MD5 in here. I uh, sucks. MacBook sometimes sucks. Okay. Why? Oh, what happened to in these few days? I always log in wrong. Huh? MD5 sort. I there's no sort here. Yeah, I I am trying to type open S S X version. Ah, uh, this open S L version now. Eh? What? No no no. Ah yeah. Okay. Open S L development. Uh, sort MD5, MP3. <laughs> yeah, uh, to, to, to hash the password and the sort, okay? There is uh, already an article, okay? Yeah, if you want to look for any stack overflow, uh, stack exchange, uh, stack exchange is trustworthy. It yeah, seems to be trustworthy, yeah. Uh. Wait. Wait. What happened? Oh, okay. So, yeah, it's, it show you how. Show you how using a using a um, uh, this look like C right? It should be oh no what is it B I O P N F what is it uh, dot, dot C okay it's supposed to be C okay okay so what's next uh yeah oh by the way um I forgot to tell you one thing so how can I generate a hash function okay in a, in a 
language itself. Most of language can import uh, hush libraries, okay? But I'm a lazy guy. So what, what I usually do is something like this. Now this is Perl, okay? Perl is very similar to a uh, shell script, so you can look at here, this two line. Do you know what I'm doing? Can you guess what I'm doing? Yeah, just just treat it as a as a high level language, okay? Although it's probably never seen some people never seen this before. So I establish a very local command, and the command is echo my password, and then pipe it to MD5 sum. I use I use a binary for for in helping me to uh, generate a hash password, okay? So if you are really want to implement something like this, you may not need the assistance from the, from the language itself, okay? You can depend on the execution environment. And your execution environment and OpenShift are always like this, okay? So it already have an MD5 sum, okay? So this MD5 sum, uh, if, okay? So this is about uh, the platform. And the platform basically tell you, oh, I shouldn't close this. I forgot to say. The platform tell you one thing is, I use a CGI program to generate all things here. Okay, so what is the mean of generate all things here? I in in Python next next uh, next set of set what I write in Python. Uh, I use a triple code. A multi-line string, okay, you know the set of templates, okay, and plug some objects, some some data into that template in order to print the entire screen, okay. So this is uh, the output. I just print it out, print the print the HTML out, and you will find the output may be ugly. Yeah, paste us oh, still okay, one, huh? Uh, even have indentation, huh? I, I don't know. So. Uh, basically, I print all things out using the program. Okay, so in your assignment one, uh, why I always over this? Okay, go back to preview ah uh, here. Okay, so this index CGI like the Jimmy's work. Jimmy's also doing say, something say, something like this. They he construct a table and fill in the table content using the for loop. Okay, and print all the HTML tag by themselves. Okay. And one challenge in doing something like this, okay, is the nature of HTTP, uh, HTTP protocol itself is called a stateless protocol. So the problem is, you know, challenge one, no, challenge, uh, request response pair one, request res response pair two, they are, uh, I mean, uh, independent. I, I'm, I'm not saying that they are separated. Okay, because they are generated from the same browser to the same server. Okay, but they are separated in the sense that you can go parallel these two guys, or they, they even don't have any relationships. So what is going on here? Uh, unlike some of the languages, okay, they set up uh, some some very good things like the uh, Perl, not Perl, I mean, uh, Python WSGI. Uh, if you have written something called fast CGI, okay, they set up something very good, okay? They preserve a CGI process which won't die in order to receive different uh, number of uh, requests. But most of the implementation of, uh, no matter it's Ruby, Python, PHP, they all behave the same. The lifetime of the CGI program is the time that you receive the request, and then you create the process, and then after you print out all the things, it dies, okay? Of course, you can uh, make the lifetime longer by the inside the CGI program, you call sleep, okay, one one sleep, okay? Then of course, you can do it, okay? Yeah, uh, I mean, don't laugh at it, okay? We can use this tricks to do many, many interesting, interesting uh, platform, okay? One one sleep is, is okay, but uh, you know, uh, that's why I use a ugly color here. The environment here is every time you create it, it got it go away very soon. And how can you relate these two guys? How can you relate these two guys? Now usually we relate these two guys uh, 
based on some storage, right? Either you write something to the file, you write something to the database, so and so forth. And if it's about login, uh, in our assignment two, we don't do login. Uh, assignment one, no, assignment two. Assignment one, we don't do login with what we are doing. Okay, so do I have any photo? I don't know where I have photo. Huh? Um, I, I don't want to disclose something bad, okay. Yeah, funny pack. Which one do you want? Ah, this one. I like this. Okay, so upload. Yeah, I like this. Deadlock. Yeah, it's the deadlock. Hmm, it is the deadlock. Okay? So in assignment one, one of our, our requirement is like this, okay? So Jimmy already prepared a lot of uh, filter here. Let's say I want to have a lens flare. Wow, he printed a lot of default message, huh? Well, just like explosion, huh? Okay, so I add something to the, to the figure now. And let's say I close the browser now. I, I pretend that I close the browser. Okay, and go back to the system using the, using a, oh sorry, I, I sh using another, like another browser. Wow. What happened? This time is open shift sucks. Okay, coming, coming. Okay? So now, uh, wow, very slow. Huh? I don't know my face, but wait, okay, go away. <laughs> okay? So now, well, all my previous score, uh, previous work has gone. And this is the expected results. This is expected. Because uh, we consider that this browser is different from that browser, okay? Because uh, in this mode, we don't use uh, any cookies, we don't use uh, any uh, section preserving mechanism, okay? Even if they separate all the HTML5 storage, okay? Then what if I open a new tab or a new window within the same browser, okay? Index.cgi. I, I'm forced to do it, okay? Now, you, I cut for it, okay? Come on, I cannot see this. You can see this. So, can you see this button? The resume button, okay? So, basically, you have to establish something like this. Uh, let's say I pretend that I leave the system, and suddenly I go back to the page. I need to resume all my work. Then I can resume to the previous state, like this. Now, to implement this, very similar to, to this mechanism, I have a CTL request, okay, and I consider them to be separated. I get separated it means that the lifetime is short, okay. So I save something to the to the storage, and the storage only say one thing that it belongs to a certain browser, okay. I I use two browser, and you can see this. Uh, one can be one cannot, okay. So I depend on the browser. I save something to the browser. And the browser always reply with me that particular thing. We call it a section. Okay. So uh, nowadays, uh, people don't like the, the, the approach an anymore. Okay. Uh, the cookies are going anymore. I, I see many people start changing using the HTML5 version, but I also don't like it. Okay. Uh, I mean, uh, 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 why I don't like it? Basically, I need to re uh, we 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 consider my my entire teaching approach. Right. Very very horrible. Okay. So. This is a this is the way, okay? And how can we embed such a section data into the browser? Uh, usually, we will depends on the HTTP cookies, okay? So HTTP cookies is uh, I would say oh cookies is easy. No, I would say the cookies can be uh, can be very horrible, okay? Okay. Later on, I will I will tell you tell you how to make it horrible, okay? So uh, the clear goal is like this. Uh, Let's say you don't need to log in, but actually in our assignment one, we have a kind of login procedure. The procedure is the upload of the file. Once you upload a file, or in this example, once you log in, then you will create a section, and you create a unique section. Okay, don't create a section that duplicate with your previous uh, um, sections uh, key or section string, okay? Then you embed this key, let the I kind embed this key, in every request, and if you decide to leave the system or not to leave the system, but terminate the thing, 
Okay, in a normal procedure uh, in our system here, the, the kind of lock in and lock out, lock in is upload, lock out approach is to click the finish. Okay, finish means that I want to save this deadlock. Okay, but click. Okay, so now as if I, I finish the things, then the client should remove or should forget the previous sections. And the server also invalidated. Okay, so in order to in improve the previous work, okay, we will uh, inject something more. Okay, and later on, I will tell you uh, during my time, okay, I looked through a many web system, I find some very interesting thing. Okay, what are the interesting things? Okay, so uh, let me pause the 